Now, here at Mathematical Magic, we are uh, very much uh, both magic nerds and maths nerds, and occasionally the two combine. And there's this wonderful thing in uh, magic and also maths uh, called the Faro Shuffle, which is quite difficult to do. Uh, however, Jason is able to do a Faro Shuffle. Yes, indeed. So we're going we're gonna to demonstrate the power of the Faro Shuffle. So uh, here we have a deck of cards. Uh, which is a pretty standard deck, and I've got uh, some dice. I'm going to roll the dice to get a random position in the deck, and then we're going to try and... What's the second card? We've got the Ace... Oh, Ace, Ace of Spades. Well done, sir. Yeah. We're going to get the Ace of Spades, and we're going to put that at a random position in the deck purely by doing Pharaoh Shuffle. So I'm going to roll these dice. The random position is going to be the 21st position in the deck. Okay, uh, so Jason's going to start shuffling, and uh, I'm going to very annoyingly commentate on what he's doing, because he has to really focus. He's trying at the moment to get uh, exactly half and half the deck, and then interweave it one card, one card, one card, so there are no pairs of cards the whole way through. And here he is again, he's splitting it. He's going to make sure they're exactly the same size. He's probably going to get annoyed with me describing everything he's doing. And then he is. Look at that. He's mildly irritated yes. at the moment. Okay, and uh, now what he's doing differently each time, if you watch very closely, it depends which one, the left or the right, is on the top once you start the weaving. And they're called in and out pharaoh shuffles. And uh, Jason is very carefully doing a calculated series mm. of ins and outs. So rather than, than Matt discussing it, I'll do it in mime. So we're interviewing the cards <laughs> we're and doing, sometimes yeah, doing like this and out. sometimes doing like that. And this will now be the final shuffle. So you better not mess this one up. No. And, <laughs> and this can obviously be done much so faster. Can see, so. Here we go. I spread them out. They'll Look at that. That's one perfect. The other. It's beautiful. Push them together. The ace of spades should now be at the 21st. 21st. Part okay, shall we? I show my. Yes, Matter the reveal? Okay, 21st card. Here we go. Ready? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 21st card is the Ace of Space. That. Well, well done, Jason. Brilliant. Very, As very impressive. Uh, I first came across uh, Barrow Shuffles. Uh, in a completely different context. Uh, it turns out that there's actually a guy called uh, Brent Morris, uh, if you're watching Brent, kudos to you, who probably has the world's only PhD in the m mathematics of card shuffling. So he uh, realized that magicians were able to do this, moving a card to a particular position in the pack by doing these various shuffles. And he actually showed that it was one of the most efficient ways to move something uh, to a different position in a mechanical, in, in a list. And rather than using it to move a card up and down inside a pack, what uh, he was able to do was to actually produce a patent about using exactly the same mathematics of this kind of shuffle to move data inside high-performance computer memories. So uh, actually, the whole technology of high-speed uh, data transfer inside computers has actually been um, inspired by uh, the magicians of old in the, the music halls. So uh, well done, Brent, and thank you very much. Fantastic. Go to mathematicalmagic.com for more maths, magic and teaching resources.